Hello YouTube, this is Victor for Phone Arena bringing you a quick preview of the Samsung Galaxy Young Duels. The device arrives at the bottom low of Samsung's 2013 Android lineup. A smartphone for those on budget, it might not feature the bleeding edge of technology, but it is rather about compromise for price. Good news is in 2013 you have to compromise less at the same low price points and now the bottom low of Samsung's Android lineup brings you a 3.3 inch display, a 1 GHz processor and an almost up to date version of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Samsung is also delivering both a single and dual SIM versions of the Galaxy Young Duos from the get go. With all this in mind, is the new Galaxy Young Duos a good compromise and how does it fare against its rivals? Let's take a look. With a slightly elongated compact body with rounded edges and built out of plastic, the Galaxy Young Duos is a typical Samsung, like it or not. Still, it feels surprisingly solid in the hand with its nearly 4 ounces of weight, and it looks that way too with its chrome plastic siding that might fool onlookers into thinking it's metallic, it's not. The device is fairly thick at 0.49 inches, but at its compact size that's really not much of a problem. In terms of buttons, you have a single physical home key in the front and a capacitive back and menu key around it. The Galaxy Young Duo ships in white, deep blue, wine red and metallic silver. The handset features a 3.27 inch screen with a 320 by 480 pixel resolution. While that might sound paltry to those used to hearing about large 720p and 1080p displays, it is a move up in the affordable segment, where last year's Galaxy Y, for instance, only had a 3 inch 240 by 320 pixel screen. Still, you can definitely see the jagged edges of pixels. The display has only 256,000 colors and you'd notice this in gradients where borders between the colors do not flow smoothly. Viewing angles were mediocre at best and reflections were also a hurdle in using the device on a bright sunny day, but those are all things that are not that shocking for such an affordable device. Good news is the Samsung Galaxy Young Duos runs on Android 4.1 Jelly Bean with TouchWiz Nature UX on top. Having the modern Android 4.1 means you can download applications from the Play Store with no limitations coming from an outdated version of the system. Touch with Nature UX still looks a bit too cartoony for our taste, but it is a smooth affair overall that has a few important usability tweaks that we appreciate. Small things ranging from the ability to create folders in the app drawer to the ability to directly attach your location in text messages are just two examples of the added value of Samsung's skin. Basic functionality is also tweaked with the contact app supporting swipe gestures. Swipe a contact's name to the right to directly call and to the left to send a text message. You have dual SIM card support and you can easily manage which card to use as the default one for calls, messaging or data. Functionality is also boosted by the presence of Google Now with all its blows and whistles of the smart card based notification system by Google. Samsung has equipped the Galaxy Young Duos with a single core 1 GHz processor and a whopping 768 MB of RAM. And given the device's fairly modest screen, this combination works well enough and in most cases we enjoy the lag-free experience. We should however know that we're looking at a non-final version of the device and things might get even more fluidity in the final one. The handset ships with 4 gigs of internal storage and that is also expandable via microSD cards of up to 64 gigs. Looking at the stock browser, performance was smooth with no stutter when pinching to zoom in and out and only a slight occasional slowdown when quickly scrolling around pages. Connectivity is well covered with a 3G chip supporting downloads of up to 7.2 megabits per second, Wi-Fi BGN, Bluetooth 3.0 and GPS. The Galaxy Young Duos has a 3 megapixel rear camera capable of recording 40, 480p video at 24 frames per second. The camera has no flash and with our non-final unit we captured passable image on a sunny day. In all other conditions where light is not so ample, noise starts getting in the way too much. Images we captured are on the soft side lacking in fine detail and with somewhat muted colors that lack the punch. Let's hope that those will improve in the final unit. The camera is also of the fixed focus kind which means that everything a foot away or closer will be out of focus so macro shot attempts are definitely not an option. The default music player on the device easily plays back 480p videos in common, for common formats like MPEG4, but if you want to watch DivX or XVID encoded files, you'd need a third party app like MX Player. For music, the loudspeaker was of excellent quality, with loud and clear sounds at even the maximum volume. 
The music player is the usual Samsung affair, rich in options with an equalizer and gimmicks like the possibility to build playlists based on your mood via the Music Square feature that scans your music. The device comes with a 1300 mAh battery and we had it last around 2 full days on average use. And if you use your device less, we wouldn't be surprised if it lasted longer. Finally, the Samsung Galaxy Young Duos is a typical Samsung device, starting from the design and plastic build and ending with the touch with nature skin. We expect it to take the place of last year's Galaxy Y in the bottom low of the Android market, and as such it offers some valuable assets like a slightly larger and better display, a modern version of Android and a good enough hardware backbone for fluid performance. Its success largely depends on the final price, but judging from Samsung's aggressive pricing strategy, we have no reason to doubt it will be a good compromise for the money. And if you want the most affordable smartphone, this would be one of your good options this year. For a detailed preview of the Galaxy N, don't hesitate to visit phonearena.com and take a look at our coverage there. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.